after your multiple choice questions, guys, no matter what uh, case study material you choose, you're going to have a definitions question. It's going to be worth three marks. These questions are so, so easy, guys. In micro and in macro, guaranteed one question will be a definition. You must score three marks. But for you to get those three marks, you've got to make sure you follow these three different criteria. First of all, the definitions you learn and write must be from an AQA approved source. That's important, otherwise you don't know that what you have learned is going to be what's in the MART scheme. So make sure it's AQA approved what you're learning. So then you know what you write down is going to score you four marks. You've got to make sure, guys, that you define everything. Now, the definition might be a very simple one-term definition, right? Define inflation. It might be something as simple as that. Define market failure, one term. But if there are two things in the definition, two separate um, parts of the definition, such as define real disposable income, then you've got two things to define, don't you? You've got to show the examiner you know what real means, you've got to show the examiner you know what disposable income means. So if there are ever definitions where you've got to define more than one thing, you've got to show understanding of more than just one term, then make sure you do that. So in that sense, define everything. If the definition is as simple as just one thing, then go for it, write it in, and you will get everything uh, in terms of marks. In the mark scheme, the words full, precise, thorough definition will be there to score your full marks. All right? So you've got to make sure that your definition is full, precise, and thorough. Last thing, oh God, every time AQA students always get a little bit muddled by the number of marks. Just because it's worth three marks, don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. You just write down what you know. What you know the definition is. You've learned it, even if it's only a few words. Write it in. If it's full, precise, and thorough, you're going to get your three marks. Don't worry about how much you need to write. Defining something is defining something. Quantity doesn't matter. Just write the definition down. Ignore the number of marks. Make sure what you're writing, though, is defining everything. And make sure your definition is from an AQA-approved source. Once it's on paper, you're going to score three marks, even if you've only written like five words. Doesn't matter. Ignore the number of marks. You should be scoring three marks. I'm sure you will learn your definitions well. Really important for these questions and for your 10 marker and 25 marker where you're going to start your paper, start your question with definitions. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.